In today's video, we're going to be talking about some practice techniques and tips to help you practice your lip trills on trombone. These exercises will also apply to euphonium, but they'll be most helpful for trombone players just because we don't have any valves to produce trills with. This means anytime we see a trill written in music, we have to produce it with our lips. So essentially a trill for us is really just a fast lip slur. Before we get started, be sure to check out metonis.com. There you can check out the full packet of exercises that will be shown in this video. Now let's get to the exercises. This is the pattern I used when I first started developing my lip trills. Starting in this range is the easiest way to get started since the partials aren't too far apart. It's also important to note that the tempo you're hearing now is the gold tempo, not necessarily where you should start. It's important to start at a slow tempo where everything is comfortable and clean. Then you can slowly increase the tempo every day, and this will really help you develop your lip trills. Once I get down to 6th position, I start this pattern again in 1st on the next partial down, which in this case is a concert B flat. Make sure it's just as clean and make that a priority over your tempo. As these slur patterns keep getting lower, you might have to back off on the tempo a little bit at first. Now remember, the lower the partials get, the further apart they get. So this means you might need to use a little bit more motion in your jaw for those intervals to come out. I've also found that using less mouthpiece pressure will really help you as you get lower in these lip trail exercises. This is especially true for this next partial, which is the lowest I take this exercise. <laughs> I know it might seem a little bit unnecessary or impractical to be practicing lip trills this low, but if you can get control over this, then you'll have no problem with any other register. I like to include this exercise in my morning warm-up because it really helps me focus my aperture. This is really important whenever you start developing your trills. 
You can play this freely without a metronome, and it's a great way to maintain your lip trills. Also, make sure to stay relaxed as you ascend. Although this next flexibility exercise isn't necessarily a lip drill, it'll definitely help maintenance-wise. Remember to start this at a slow tempo where you can play everything easily and then work from there. As you increase in tempo, keep things light and see if you can also lighten up on the mouthpiece pressure as well. Well, I hope all of these exercises were helpful, and if you have any questions or if you'd like to schedule a lesson, please feel free to comment below or contact me at lucashouseltrombone at gmail.com. Also, once again, don't forget to check out matonis.com. There you can download all of these exercises and anything from previous educational videos as well. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for some more videos coming soon. A big shout out goes to our friend of his channel, dfmusicking.com. Our musicians use John Packer, Smith Watkins, and Dennis Wick instruments and equipment that you can get with a 10% discount at dfmusicking.com with a promo code Matonis at the checkout. Not only you'll get the best quality affordable instruments and equipment, but also impeccable customer service from a distributor that our musicians trust and recommend. Visit dfmusicking.com and save 10% on all of your purchases with a promo code Matonis or simply check the description box below if you're interested in finding out what instrument models our musicians use.